Hi Aries, welcome in. This is a love reading for Aries placements. Keep in mind that these messages are general, so only take what resonates and how it resonates for your situation. Those of you that are interested in your current singles reading, the link to that is in the description box below. Messages for Aries, please, from their person. Okay, Aries, this person can't stop thinking about you. Bottom of the deck, it says, you speak to me through music. So they're hearing songs, remembering you, thinking about you. Okay, we have the emperor. Yeah, a lot of thinking about you. Ace of pentacles. They're wondering if they should reach out or not. They're wondering if the door is still open. Yeah. Wow. Four of swords. They think a lot about this. Okay. Uh, let's see. Tell me more. Yeah, they want to talk. Ace of swords. I I'm getting they want a fresh start. Okay. Yeah. Nine of wands. They are wondering if you're up for it, though, because, you know, they're under the impression areas that you have your guard up justice card that's a confession bottom of the deck the tower they're thinking about confessing something but they know that once they say it there's no going back with that tower How does Aries see this person? Spirit, how does Aries see this person? You see them as the king of swords. You see them as detached. The king of swords is also like that logical energy, okay? You can see this person as just operating from logic, okay? Or you think they are. Uh, Knight of Swords for how you feel. You you feel like I'm I'm just getting an energy of like you wish somebody would stop thinking so much and just say what they want to say because the Knight of Swords talks about thinking or talks about speaking without thinking. I feel like you're wanting to have a conversation with this person and you see them as somebody that analyzes everything. You see them as somebody that tries to remain logical, but I feel like you're just you wish that they would just say what's on their mind. How do they see Aries? Spirit, how do they see Aries right now? They see you as the Nine of Swords. They think you're going crazy over them. I feel like it's because they're actually going crazy over you. Justice card, Two of Cups. They think that the situation is mutual. That you both mutually miss each other? Interesting. Or that you're both mutually fixated with the devil? Okay. How do they feel? So this is somebody seeing you as in your head. Upset. How do they feel? Judgment. They want another chance here. This person wants to talk to you, Aries. Yeah. So there's unfinished business here. Okay. Just a uh, judgment card. You know, this is something I feel like someone wants to resolve an issue with you and they can't stop thinking about it. Okay. They think that you can't stop thinking about it. But they know your guard is up. Two of Wands for the mutual energy. This is both of you guys wanting to move forward, but also pushing each other away. You're both spying on each other. You both want to move forward, but you're both also pushing each other away. Aries. 
What do they want from Aries? What do they want from you, Aries? They want to work this out. The Chariot, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Wands. So they want to come forward. They want to reunite. They're only focused on you, is what it's telling me, that Chariot. And I'm just getting like, they are determined to come forward. The only thing is that Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving energy. So I feel like there's something they're trying. They're trying to get something in order first. Could be what they want to say. I see somebody showing up at your house for a lot of you. It doesn't have to be your house, but this car, I mean, this chariot, Knight of Pentacles, I like to see somebody slowly driving by your house here. What are their next actions towards Aries? I see them taking a leap of faith in your direction. The Fool, the Queen of Wands, Knight of Cups. I see somebody spontaneously just showing up. I, I feel like they didn't think this through or they're not going to think this through. Yeah, because they miss you too much. Six of Cups. They want to offer you something here with that Knight of Cups too. The Star, they want to make amends. Here's this Nine of Wands again. I feel like this person knows that you uh, have your guard up, okay? Because somebody clearly is seeing you as in your head. They're clearly seeing you as someone who has a lot of anxiety and that you're upset by them. Okay, and then we have the lovers. that They know that you have your guard up when it comes to a relationship with them. Okay, and this is also that wounded warrior energy. I feel like this person has hurt you before, Aries. Four of Cups, there's unfinished business here. And I feel like this person's tired of holding back. They want to talk to you. They want to heal the connection with the star card. And it's like, it's now or never is what it's telling me. Here, their immediate next actions, they're going to tell themselves, well, it's now or never. Never. Okay, and I see somebody spontaneously just showing up, pulling in your driveway here, okay, or pulling up, showing up at your work, wherever it is you are. I see somebody just spontaneously showing up. It says romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. So I feel like that's what's going to happen. This person has like some sudden epiphany. Okay, this person just like, oh God, I got to do it. It's now or never. Okay, then we have surrender. It says, at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. And I feel like that's what this person is wanting to do. They're wanting to give in. They're wanting to surrender. They're wanting to start a new cycle with you. It says, transformation, your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So this is them surrendering to this connection. Okay, I feel like they are fighting it, though, with that seven of wands, but so are you. Anything else for Aries? Anything else for Aries, please? Because they want something new with you, guys. They want you to let go of the past. Yeah, they want you to let go of this Five of Swords, Five of Cups energy. They're ready for a change. Uh, I feel like this is somebody that you engaged in a lot of games with. There was a lot of games here. There was a tug of war. Okay. And I feel like it only ended up disappointing you both. Ten of cups. They want, they want all of this to turn around. They want a relationship. They want, they want their ten of cups, which is you. 
They want their happily ever after, which is you. All right, Aries, those are your messages. Bye.